That's a speed game, my friend. So actually, yeah. load. Wazza. What the hell is lagging, bro? It's lagging. Bro, it's because your graphics card is too outdated. My graphics card is outdated? Did you seriously say that? <laughs> You've only oh, got a 30. Oh, my bad, bro. You're right. I do need a mm -hmm. new graphics card, dude. I need to upgrade mine. Yeah, bro. Yep. Thanks for offering to buy me that 4090, dude. Yep. My parents said they would. Bro, your thing literally shut down. Did you not realize that? I turned it off on purpose. Okay, good. I was going to say. when it's on, there's a little light, and the light's in it. Oh! What? Bro, the game is off. Oh, you mean the game. Inspecting objects. E to begin inspecting. Also, your camera is still on. No, it's not. On my screen it is. Oh, I turned it off. Right. I think. Cross controls, it's all your crowd. Doesn't say anything. Like that. Oh, it's a cutscene. It's over, bro. Oh my God! It's the man behind the slaughter. Oh my God. Oh. Freaking kill <laughs> Did he kill me with a pen? Synth waves are 80s though. Okay, so it takes place in probably early 80s? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know what, Levi? It wasn't the floppy you, disk, uh, I bet. I bet it was that one that was right after huh? the floppy disk. Or just I thought like, I heard someone yelling, oh, okay. or... I don't know. How? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I... I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. Cats. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean... Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? 
<laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Dude, I have a soundboard. You should not be in charge of that. Yeah, I should. Me when I play Halo 1. Oh my god. Press for Peggy. Peggy. Oh, let's do the tags. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubularance. Tubularance. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Not when you're me. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Huh? Phone lines. Oh. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. The Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music Gotta slider. Put a blast processor, dude. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? I uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Bye. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, you're live in three, three two, two, one. 189.16. Oh yeah, let's go. Da -da -da. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. <sighs> Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call, call and... And guess that Guess scream. that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off, off a, a finger, finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? <laughs> That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? 
I just have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... I hate what I've become. I used to go mm -hmm. out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. All right, what should I do? Uh, falling from the crap clip. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win. Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. You should not be the one at the center, bro. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. 1980X. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Oh, first, oh, there's okay. a call coming the in. Way, Time he, to turn Ethan the music said, off. There'll be call, like Ethan said there'll be like 911 call. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. I don't want spoilers. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream. Caller. Caller, you're talking to you're Forrest. You're talking to Forrest Nash. Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest! Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an, an educated, educated guess. guess. What? No! <laughs> Look, I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Yes, I recognize your face. Yes. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. This is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Are you serious? Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I so found him. That. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Bro, I Do you know what happened to him? Someone Bro, got stop. Him. Stop, Someone please. Got it actually hurts me personally. I really oh don't my God, I'm gonna... Say what they did, to him. did he fight back? I don't know. Oh. Tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Drop, stop, please. Actually, I'm gonna kill myself. Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Okay, or, actually, actually, or actually, actually please. Like, no, hold up, please. Check everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked down, oh! up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. 
Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on we leave. We have three. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 <laughs> calls to come in to you. What the heck? You know they need a computer. They literally have a computer you that they document me. everything. Uh, I'll do what I can. That's what I mean. Thank you, Forrest. This You're literally the only person this could work at all. Phone line around you have here. to do experience. You're the only person keeping equipped phone number for the job. Fine, bro. Besides, I'm that guy. I'm literally there are lots of transferable actually. skills between the two. Shouldn't be that It's hard. like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. I would not well, let's have some on-the-job training play. right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. <laughs> Is there another way into the holding cell that you can see? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Officer's desk first. Have you looked around the officer's desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I checked, too. Okay, I couldn't find anything useful, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him yeah. when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. He's oh, still on the air, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Ugh. Don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do you have ADHD work? or something? They do! Not by Give me a minute to untie Deputy You're Martinez. You're worse than me right now. Right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Boris? <laughs> It's making me want to hurt myself right now. You can't stop doing stuff. Please. Yeah. That seemed to go okay. <laughs> Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can Crunch that. Oh. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! Oh, My car they blew up on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No. No way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. 
What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. The whistling trigger of this dead, right? Right? With that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Uh, Who? What the whistling the man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling Who's the man? Killer? He was a serial killer in the back in the 50s. Oh Who my god. Mask? Right. But he's dead. He's what? How what did the I get the hell? time? Oh wow. God! Have you ever heard God. of a copy of think, copycat killer in your entire life? You think he attacked Sheriff Matthews yeah, and I, Deputy Martinez? He's coming How did I get way. the? How did I even get the time right though? Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. I think Take you need to stay put and hide in the station. You should that be safe in there. Work. We can't just stay in here. I need to go get help. And what if he gets in? What if he finds us? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes! Got him! For squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. They're gone. Matthews. Matthews gone. The sheriff must have a so gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me right? grab it. I shit. Martinez. It's empty. Oh. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Weapon lockup. There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. No. No! Uh, shit! None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. What should I take? It's longer distance. Better to do pepper spray, but he has a mask. I feel like it's taser. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be the taser, right? I've got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez. Well, then... but I feel like the pepper spray usually wouldn't do anything, but through the game logic, Did you hear that? Yes. Yes, but just to make sure we mean the same thing. What do you hear? Knocking stopped. Everything's gone really quiet. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. No, bro, he's okay. just going to be Absolutely hiding behind not. the door. He's hiding. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just he's literally just. Oh, I made the, the shot. Door. Let's go. Yep. No, it's go. just sitting there. Are you sure it's about this, rip. Leslie? No, Time that other like one was present, sitting on the right? room. I did a new shot and it went so, in. So, here we go. Again, oh, you're hooked in now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Come I on, actually kind of like, I like this uh, game from Some brave it. woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say... This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. It's gonna be the whistling man's, like, son or oh, something. I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Wait, actually Hello? that would come Forrest? here. Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. We're here, Simple. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. 
So I'm going to get us moving. Alright. Would have already been moving. God damn it! Get, get back! Get, get away, away from, from her! her. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Zap it. Get out and Leslie, drive. What are you waiting Here's for? It. Get out of there! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Hold on. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. I told you, dude. Oh my god, I can't yeah. believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my Just god. Just another yeah. man. Well, let me tell you. Man. Side of the phone. <laughs> Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowhere's bill, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, two three, three hours. hours each way. Serial thriller. Bro. Wait, but now doesn't he know that? We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until, until then. Thank you. The not new just do what you did just now. now. Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Need to find your radio anyway, station. once I'm in... Oh, yeah, I think huh? Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. The flow crying for him. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got some synth wave. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show meanwhile. If <coughs> you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. For now, okay. Here's another if anyone record for you all to enjoy. Information about him, and we hear two of the same voices. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. You gotta this be is careful. actually insane. Is that Did she really say mean, it's gonna take her four hours? Probably. This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know. I know. Yeah, I just. I'm just guessing. Who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the fifties. Edward Marshall Mooney went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Wow. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Okay. What yeah, happened that's that. Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. No, he died. We call it Whistling Point oh. now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. Oh, my the God. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So he just didn't oh, die. Oh, so is he alive? Dead? <laughs> I mean, what's the story? 50s, 80s, 30s. The story is he's years. biding his time, waiting yeah. to take revenge on the town. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? It could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. That's awful. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school It's night. a school night. <sighs> oh, what's God. the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big Gas could pump that up to 
10, 15, 15. easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. That's crazy. Five million. Five million? million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Uh, oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The, the scream. scream. Is everything, uh, all right? All right? <sighs> oh, it's the whistling man. Hello, G. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? <sighs> Sir, do you need some uh, cough drops, some uh, throat <laughs> lozenges? Okay, Maybe what's your nice name and why are you calling in? They see a copy copycat. Yeah. Oh, no. You accept Do request. You accept request. I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice to us? I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean. I want cheese dusted pretzels! Oh my god. Or I'll cut your face off! Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. Yeah, cut him off. Oh. Uh, we also want a, a mega, mega gold. gold! For anyone just tuning in. We do, in fact, have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Um, late night with it. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a last thing. One, last one. A thing. Very last. Ugh, oh, yeah. Let me hear they pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this he whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's, it's not, not at funny all. at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... that turn it up. <sighs> Christ. Turn up and... Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. You can turn up the music individually. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen right. with me, oh. Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. The sheriff is dead. I'm sorry, Sandra, <laughs> but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. Okay. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run. Jazz and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Bad night to go out. Where are you though. now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. Right. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. Oh I my god. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Oh, uh, you're dead. It's Joe. Or... Oh, shoot. Uh, you but can hot wire it if you go to a town. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my 
spare sweatbands. I'll call you back when I find it. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight yeah. while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh, it's really creepy to have Peggy just sitting in that room. All the time. Peggy, more like me. Not even ever seeing her face. Oh, I hate that. Oh, you might wanna... You might wanna spend so those out. Doors, so few keys. Why is it purple out the window? Now this oh, oh, has to be important. Uh, car theft magazine. So maybe it's summer. Oh, oh. oh wait, under the thing, there's a tape. There's a sticky note. There's a what? Table. There's a sticky note. There's a sticky note under the table. I can't I don't know if you can pick it up. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know if you can pick it up, but it might be important. There's a sticky note there as well. Yeah, I can't get it. You got a. Did it tell you where that car theft magazine was? No, it just said he borrowed it. Oh, wait, wait, take those cassette tapes. Take that cassette tape. Where? It's on the table. Yeah, take that. Because I think you can have, like, there's like a total of like three more you can have. Oh, that's so bright. Can you actually go? I don't see any of this magazine. Well, those kids talk about the car theft magazine on that new thing, right? Yeah, on that paper. On that yeah, paper. It on says that. he borrowed the magazine. Oh, wait, twins. I borrowed. Yeah, see? So, somebody else. So, I guess these are the twins. So, it's going to be this guy? You might want to try in a different... There are more offices, right? I don't see any more offices, dude. This is a small area. I need a key to get in there. Oh, 
Oh, this is an ad. Line three, peg. No, that's, that's optional. You can just call her if you want. Oh, okay. I'm not getting in there tonight. Hmm. Well, it's got to be in the office. Oh, it's unless it's in the bathroom or something and they were reading it on the toilet. Check the other one as well. Yep. Are you sure? This looks useful. That is the actual dumbest bro. thing I've ever heard. Bro, how did I know, bro? I'm literally a That's genius. That's literally retarded. You find anything? Yeah. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, the, the scream. scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <sighs> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. Wait, 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 read the thing. Does it not tell you anything? Unscrew the steering column. the steering column cover, check the serial number. Oh, you should have done the ignition switch. No, it's fine, switch. it's fine, it's fine. It says if it fails, it's fine. Tell me exactly what you see. Tell me exactly what you see. Check the serial number. What's the serial number? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Okay. So if there's a four, a four, three, and a seven in the number. Four, a four, three, and a seven in the number. And no seven. And no seven, in case there is a seven. If there's a six anywhere, it doesn't start with the five, so it starts with the five. If there's a zero at the end, there's a zero at the end. And the three doesn't come before six. So it should be red and yellow. Red and yellow. Strip and twist. Right? I'm not stupid. Yep. Nope, strip and twist. All right, so I'll strip and twist the red and yellow. Yep. Yep. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Strip the purple. 
strip the purple. Hold on. Strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. And brush again. So strip the purple and brush against the twister. Mm -hmm. Strip the purple will... wire and brush will... against the twisted wires. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you, you get in for free. Just keep driving. You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors yeah, here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at five. Take it away, Forrest. I still Levi, can't believe this is happening. That book. <sighs> right? right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Absolutely. It's a sad place. That's right, Peggy. Miserable. It's a sad place on Earth. Well, I like it here. People are polite and... Uh... Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise. High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for... I think you're swell. Um, anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. Play. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Twelve forty-seven. Caller on line one. Caller on line one. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of one eighty-nine point sixteen, The Scream, the and nice. tonight's nine one one stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian oh, I remember Ponty. Uh, yeah. Ponty's Pizza. Pizza. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great. He's literally advertising this Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh. Your choice of words tonight, I guess. Yeah, that didn't come out great. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this ad. weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right?
Yeah. Sure. Promo tape, that's an ad. Done. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator, <coughs> the discipline of the tarantula, the speed of the tuna, the poise of the scorpion, and the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. Well, that was beautiful. I'm actually crying right now. I had no clue there could be a masterpiece of cinema like that. Yeah, bro, better than Citizen Kane, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You're probably gonna get a call. Peggy? Yeah. Wait, how does that door open both ways? I don't know. I didn't know that was possible. It's not. Unless it's like, okay, you know those, um... You know those doors in, like, kitchens where they'll swing in and out? You know what I'm talking about? Like, like, okay, they'll walk out of it, and then it'll keep swinging back and forth until it stops in one place. Uh-huh, for sure. Okay, are you joking or serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna find a tuna. I wasn't really Okay. Thinking. So, basically, there's, like, these doors and, like, kitchens or whatever. When you come out of them, it closes it automatically behind you is basically what it is. Except, it's just like, it swings back and forth until it stops. So, um... It, that, I mean, that's how it works, I guess? Because it, it can work like that. But, it usually doesn't get food in that way. It, you can't stop it normally. It just... Wings got ten fourth automatically when you open it. Turn up the sound of the music, bro. Why? It's not loud enough. You really want to hear the music? Yeah. That's not what radio we stations are about. You literally. Turn off the music every time you get a 911 call anyway. I got the screen stuck. I can't move the mouse. Uh oh. I got it stuck. Front it's actually it's over, dude. Press escape. Press escape. Maybe that'll work. No. Keep it's clicking. Over. Keep clicking. No, dude. This is the farthest I can move the mouse. 
Oh my I god. actually broke the game. Can you redo a checkpoint? Probably, honestly. 